employees and staff. Right. right. Okay. Remind me of your business again. Yo, I hope. Go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Your greatest failure. I'd say mine. Mine was getting into rehabbing property. Okay. 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 My greatest failure. I'm still stuck with it. Okay. Why? Because there's a calling on my life to complete another book. Okay. The house that Jesus built. Oh. In '99, he told me to do that. Okay. I went to Nineveh, no Tarshish, instead of going to Nineveh. Okay. Yeah. I, I I understand you. Yeah. Okay. That Bible talk. Okay. okay. Greatest yes. failure. Yes. Yes. Not creating a team. Mm. I had to do everything mm. with the ego of I had to do everything mm. the right way. Thank Not you. Not creating a team. Thank you. Because that I should be rich right now in the Bahamas. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you see? I, 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 I agree with I agree with the young lady there. Uh, my greatest failure in business was not understanding how important it is uh, to share your knowledge. I've been doing that, mm -hmm. but you've got to create a community, and you uh, you, you must uh, you must become an involved member in the community that you create. For that's going to be your value. Okay. That's what that's how it's going to roll from now on. You've got to put value in the conversation. And, and, and other people in the group. Okay. Thank you, Sai. I, I, let me just check my time because I want to do a wrap. I want to be respectful of your time. Now, we can go longer, but I'm going to get your permission, okay? We can go, I don't, I'm not the permission giving, so oh, three minutes. Thank you. <laughs> my biggest failure was having too many irons in the fire. Okay. Back at one time, I had a market research business and I was doing everything you could name. Okay. And I didn't have enough time to concentrate okay. on anyone particularly. So around focus, okay. There's a there's a uh, there's an adage that says that out of our out of the depths of our darkest times comes our greatest dreams and aspirations. You all are here because what you've done is you have not allowed your failures to hold you back, but you've learned from your failures. Okay? We, it's okay to fail, because if you don't fail, guess what? That means you never tried anything. But the thing is, is how do you grow from your failures? And then how do you also share those failures with others so that they can benefit from your experience? I love the first, you said that, that around building a team around you. So that was one of my failures, was build, not building a team around me. Thinking I could do it, you know, because I am an engineer, you know, an engineer can figure out everything. Okay? <laughs> You know, everybody's after the engineers, you know, the accountants and all those other folks. They come at I pick one of you again. So making sure you're still with me. Okay. So so um so so when we look at those failures that we have, we can we can grow from our failures and the the uh, the important thing around growing from those failures is understanding why did we fail? Because when we understand why we failed, then we understand why why and how we're gonna go about succeeding in the next thing that we do. I think when I think about businesses, and particularly when I think about black businesses, 